My guest Rosie says she is positive her boyfriend Terrence and her mother Tony are sleeping together. She tries to get the truth out of them, but all they do is deny, deny, deny. Today, we will unlock Terrence's phone to see if her instincts are correct. But before we do that, let's hear from Rosie. Please welcome Rosie to the show. So why do you think Terrence, your boyfriend, is sleeping with your mother? Like, they're like, they coincide in text. Like, sometimes, like, she'll say something to me and then he'll say the same exact thing back to me. Constantly complimenting each other. He always has things to talk to her about or like he'll know things that she's done throughout the day that I don't even know and it's just like there's there's a lot of uh, red factors. I see it there. So when did they meet? Um, about six months ago. Okay. And what was that interaction like? He was instantly like, you know, she's beautiful. Um, you know, that's the type of woman that I want. He's always been attracted to older women. Now, mind you, um, me and Terrence have been friends for about 15 years and mm -hmm. we've only been dating for a uh, little bit over a year, but we've been living together for about six months now. Okay, so 15 years of knowing each other. During that 15 years, did he know your mom? Um, yes. Ever... Uh, well, so... she was actually incarcerated um, up until about six months ago. Okay, so they, she wasn't. He wasn't around the. No, nope, and she was not in the picture. Um, Got it. But he knew. You know, he knew our relationship. He knew how much I missed her and like I yearned for her. Um, and then it was like as soon as she came home, um, she was a big part of my life, so she was around a lot. Um, and then. Like I said, I introduced them, and that day that I introduced them, it was like, can I take you out on a coffee date? Can we go out? Um, wow. I took, yes. And it wasn't just friendly getting to know your mom. No. You felt like there was something more. How did they get each other's phone numbers? Um, actually, I put the numbers into each other's phone. Oh. Yes, but I didn't, I mean, it's my mother. I didn't think that. Yeah, that's an innocent thing. I, I would give my partner Why my not? mom's number I as mean, well, just yeah. in case of an emergency. Like, hey, know each other. Why not? I would yeah. not think anything of it until now. So mm. as soon as they um, they met each other and then he asked her out on a date or whatever, I started crying. So that's when we started dating. And I'm like, you guys are messed up. Um, Terrence, like, you know, I like you. And this is my mother. How could you, how dare you ask her to take her out on a yeah. date? Um, and from that point on, he's, he claims that he has not, um, he has not done anything to offend me, to be inappropriate with her, I'm anything. I'm gonna go back, does he ask her that in front of you? Oh, yeah. Really? Yes, absolutely. He has, yes. Where do you think he goes so that they can cheat on you? Um, probably his mother's house. You think so? So you think your boyfriend and your mother are cheating and that they have the... So the, basically the audacity to then go to his mother's house? Yeah, I think that she wouldn't tell on him if he, if, if he was doing it. Has he cheated on you in the past at all? Um, yes, I found um, a condom in his mother's car that he was driving that was used. Mm. And I also found a condom um, in his bedroom in the garbage. And they were both used. And I mean, it hurts. It hurts really bad, you know. Uh, especially if you will lie to me about sleeping with somebody else and not tell me the truth, then you are obviously lying to me about my mother too. Yeah. I never took her out on a date. The coffee date, I never got her number, even though she saved the numbers in the phone. Do you hit on her? Do you yes. hit on her? You know, last yes. time I hit on her yes, was yes. at the beginning. So that's a yes. 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 I said yes. the last yes. time. Yes. Last yes. time I hit on her was at the beginning no. of our friendship. No, that's when not When she true. just brought her around. Huh? You know, and when she just brought her mom around, she was always telling me how beautiful her mom was and how much everybody always wanted her mom. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So we were still at the beginning of our relationship, of our friendship still, and she brought her around, and I was like, um, I'm like, yeah, she cute, whatever. Then next thing you know, she kept trying to... He's my boyfriend, you're supposed to say she's not cute. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. everybody's thinking, she ain't cute. Yeah, she was no, but the whole point, we were just friends still. Nothing for friends, because we was friends for... You said my mouth was kind of open during this, because the way you just talking about this so know, casually, just... about hitting on your girlfriend mama, it's just <laughs> blowing my mind. No, yeah, I'm telling you. I wasn't, I'm telling you. I wasn't hit on... See, it's see, a you. difference. Does she hit on you? Yes, um, no, yes, I never was. Yes, she always yes, say yes, that. Yes, she does. Well, I she guess always I... tells him how good, she, how good he looks. He smells good. That's a Look at you. Look at you looking all nice today. I, I like the outfit on you, or your hair looks nice. She always, 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 uh, always. Compliments. Mm -hmm. Only did big Hating compliments. And from the beginning, I really think that she's, she still had her guys she was talking to. She was still free. So you we, thought she was trying to yeah, hit you up yeah, with her mom. yeah, I thought she was trying to hit me up with her. And she was single. We were single. And as soon as she started crying, I thought I said it to her mom. And I looked at her, I'm like, oh, baby, I did not know you liked me like that. I did not know that you wanted to take it to the next level. I did not know you felt that way about me. I'm like, you know what, baby? I would never do that to you. I think it's time we meet Rosie's mother. Tony, so welcome, Tony, to the show. So, just to let you know, the reason it's like this, 
Um, this is not an error. Your mother has refused to connect remotely. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna ask mom, her. why will you not show your face? I mean, you can hear your voice. We already know it's, you're my mom. Everybody knows you're my mom. That's gonna see this. I just I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. Um, but I will say this. I think I think part of the thing that you're wanting, and and please tell me if I'm right. I'm just connecting dots here. Is you want you want her to show up? Yeah. You, yes. We just talked about it earlier about how your childhood was. These are the reasons I was pointing these things out is mm -hmm. because there's become a pattern of, I need you to show up, and you're not I there. need you to tell me, I need you to reassure me, I need you to know, and, and you're I've not never getting it. That. And so there's a pattern here of here it goes once again. Mm -hmm. I'm having an insecurity, I feel alone, I need my mom to show up. Yeah. And the decision in your mind only reinforces what you've been feeling. Absolutely. Talk to me a little bit about that. Absolutely, you're 100,000% correct. Yeah. Yeah, because that fire, I hear the statements of you're a firecracker, but I always tell people here, when, when people say firecracker, where they say this is drama, I hear pain. Yeah. Tony was supposed to be here today to tell us her side of the story, but she has declined to be on camera. Um, and now we're gonna unlock the phone to see if there's been any interactions between you and Rosie's mother, Tony. How do you feel about unlocking the phone right now? Oh, that's like my diary, you know? my, yeah. my journal, my wallet. Well, is, like, there you know, written, it's like, is there anything written in it that's uh, going to show us that you have been having a relationship oh, no, with Tony? Oh, no, nothing like that in there, mm -hmm. completely. Okay. okay. Well, well, listen, it is time to unlock your phone, Tara. Uh, Are you ready for these results? No. You're not ready? <clears throat> well, here we go. Okay. All right, so we went through your phone looking for photos, text messages, um, and calls. And when it came to photos, we found two photos. You received a sexually explicit video of a girl in December of 2022 and a topless photo last month. The reason these are important is because I asked you if you were doing anything and you said once it became official, in your words, in November, that yeah. you had done nothing since. So these were in December and last month. Thank you so much. I don't even want to see them. You don't want to see them? No. Okay, I understand that. I want to see them. You want to see them? Well, they're from your phone. Please don't show the audience. Okay. So, one is a topless and the other one is a screen grab of a uh, woman pleasuring herself. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. All right, Doc. Okay. That's fun. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, those are uh, in December and last month. Uh, it was, it was saved in the archives, wasn't it? No, 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 no. Ah! Yeah. No, 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 that's not from archives. No, 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 no. No. Okay. All right, well, let's continue it? on. It was, oh, man, Well, listen, we also went through text messages. When it came to text messages, we found 3,656 text messages. Oh, Rosie, no. you specifically wanted me to check conversations with your mother and two other women. And the investigator found one woman who will call L, who there was 2,993 texts from, 71 messages with the word love in it, and you called her punny 41 times. You also told her yesterday that you can't wait to be free. Mm -hmm. oh. Then there was 663 texts with another woman, we'll call her J. He tries to get attention from but he does, she doesn't give it back to him. But you do consistently say, hey, what's going on? Hey, how we doing? Can we do something? And these are all within the time period of your asking since November. How do you feel about that? Disgusting, but I already knew what it was. Mm -hmm. I already knew. Just, you know what I'm saying? You know, Set him to, free. To free myself. I love you too, baby. I got a gay wave from the psycho. I miss you, I love you. These are text messages that he sent directly to the other woman. And this is what they wanted. They, and that's know, from the L? Hmm? That's from L? That's from L. Okay. It's okay. You that's know who that one is. It's okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. So if this is your best friend, why would you say these things? This is supposed to be your love. Yeah. That's love, baby. But you also baby. earlier that's said love, baby. That was love. Years she's psycho. Hey, that was love. Let me tell you, you I see, felt she's that. she's psycho? I felt yeah, that. yeah, it was so I now, so because I'm confused because now you're saying she's psycho, yeah, but, so she's, but 15 years, why are you staying around someone who you think I'm is psycho? Hey, why are you man, now I'm in a relationship with someone you. who you think is psycho? You. you know, don't let don't let her fool you. She like she steered me on. She basically 
uh, what they was called? Are we, we done? Game on me. Are we done? She run games on you. Dude, she run games on me. She run game on you. Interesting. Yes. But when it comes to calls, we found one call, which was interesting. It was a video chat with the first woman, L, that was just yesterday. So you all arrived here yesterday, correct? Yeah. She was asking about the show. I should punch you in your face. She was asking about the show. I should punch show. you in your face. I will tell you this. We did come here for your mom, and we scrubbed through the phone. Nothing. And I'm sorry, mom. There was no calls between your mom and Terrence. Is that all the questions? Can I go? That is. I never say, I never say. Uh, I will tell you this. You have some explaining to do because it's one thing for you to, it sounds like y'all were in a friendship where you both understood each other, you both were allowed to do what you need to do, but you were still having casual sex as consenting adults. But then when you decided to say, I'll commit to going further, and it sounds like you made that choice, not because you wanted to, just because, I don't know why, but I think that was where you went wrong. Yeah. You should have said, let's keep it how it is and not go further. Because now what you've done is you've sullied a friendship with someone who you've had in your life for 15 years. I've been there for her through thick through thin. And, and has she ain't telling y'all her side of the story. She's making me look like this, but I'm not the but bad guy. But you thought the show, we're not making I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Did. She's trying to make it look like I'm the bad guy. No, you was the bad guy. Then I was the good guy that fell alone to you, the bad guy. You know, so it's well, that, like, But even, regardless, if you're saying she was the bad guy before, you should have just stayed I, I, as friends. Yes. Because I that way, you. you didn't have to go, you, you, there would be no bad guy. You're friends both making your own decisions. And yes. that's all I'm saying to you. Yeah. I do want to go talk to her in a little bit. Thank you so much, Tina, for being here. Let me go talk to Rosie really quick. Okay. Uh, so, I am extremely, 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 extremely sorry. It's okay. I mean, um, it's okay. Because, you know, no one wants to find that out. Mm -hmm. He has his own point of view about how y'all were in the friendship and you heard everything I said to him. I think the thing that's bigger for me is that I do want to figure out how you can start healing. Mm -hmm. Because the one consistent piece of this is that you have a lot of anger in you mm -hmm. and you have a lot of sadness in you from the choices that were made and the positions you were put in as a little girl. Mm -hmm. And outside of this, for me, you two, I probably will end up being friends again. Mm. You two will be able to figure out how to keep going forward because I don't feel like you're going to throw away 15 years. Right. But what you, you need to start practicing and figuring out is how to heal this relationship with your mom. Right. And I actually wish she would have been able to come on the show and be here. It's just so awkward, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. Because the thing is, is that there's still a little girl here mm. that everyone has labeled a firecracker. Everyone has seen the, you know, the choices you made and they've labeled you this and have forgotten that you are a little girl who saw horrible things, who experienced a lack of stability, who experienced not having the structure and boundaries that you deserved as a little girl, mm -hmm. and its direct result has turned you into a woman that now people have labeled you certain ways. Yeah. And so what I encourage you to do is when you get home, ask your mother to show up for you. Mm -hmm. Say, I need you to show up for me and I need you to really be here because I can't start healing until you start to help me heal. Mm -hmm. And so she can still hear us. I want you to come back on the stage and I would like you to say that to her on camera. Can you do that? Do I have to? Yeah. Listen, I'm here to help you heal. <laughs> All right? You just need to speak to her and tell her. You can look at that camera right there. And tell your mother, like, you haven't showed up for me before. Yeah, Mom, you know you haven't been here for me, and I need you. I need you to be my mom. I've been begging for you to be my mom for the last 17 years. I need you to just be here for me. I need you to show up. I need you to show up. I need you to talk to me about these things that hurt me. Yeah, I need help. I need help, clearly. Yeah, but who do you need help from? My mother. It makes you uncomfortable to say this. Mm -hmm. I can see your whole body language is shifting. Why is it uncomfortable? I don't know. I just, I'm ready to go. Yeah, it's a lot. But I couldn't have you leave the stage without at least you being able to say that. And I'm sorry, I apologize. Good, well that's a big step as well because that was gonna be next week. <laughs> Any last thing you wanna say to Terrence? Nothing at all. I really do wish you the best of luck of healing with your mom because there still is that little girl in you that I really, I can see her and I hope that she gets answers and she gets the healing she deserves. You hear me? Thank you. I see you getting emotional. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hold up, hold up, where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. 
I love you.